Hi everyone, uh, my name is Tano Mossar, I'm with Corbin Communications. I'm here with Olivier Rigaud, our CEO. Welcome Olivier. Hi Tano. We're here to talk about the Q3 results. So what is your overall take on where we stand? So first of all, I'd like to uh, say that I'm very proud of the Corbion team across the globe because we just landed another very strong quarter with over 16% organic growth wow. in our core activities. So quite remarkable. That is really stellar growth. Um, so if we then look at the different business units, sustainable food solutions, what's the story there? Well, there we've had a very strong momentum and we see, I mean, whether it is about natural preservation or functional systems, a growth that is over 9.4% organic. So again, very strong in the continuity of the last quarters, but also our ability to lend a very good success conversion rate uh, from the pipeline to business. Lactic Acid on Specialties, our second business unit. What do you see happening there? There as well, very strong, 18% plus organic wow. growth, primarily driven by the offtake of our joint venture with Total Energy. So we see the PLA market very strong, and this is driving obviously a lot of lactic acid sales uh, for us. So again, very strong momentum there. Then the third business unit, LG Ingredients, our newest addition. How are we doing there? In Algae, as you know, we set ourselves a challenge to break even that business uh, next year in the course of 2022. Mm -hmm. But on this quarter, we see again over 230% growth. So we see more and more customer adoption. We are also able to develop that business beyond uh, salmon fish feed. So mm -hmm. we are now into pet food, into shrimp. So I think again, a uh, very much increased momentum uh, from the Algae team that translate into the numbers as well. So fantastic growth story. But if we look in the outside world, there's some challenges as well, right? No, indeed. We see uh, some pressure in the margin and we already discussed that, uh, you know, in, during our half year results, we see a tremendous, I mean, it changes in terms of input cost. And uh, everybody can read that, uh, you know, uh, facing freight issues, logistic delays. Mm -hmm. So we are not immune to that. And uh, as we speak, you know, we are working on a plan to recover uh, our margin. But this is, I mean, again, to come next year, as most of our contracts are being negotiated on a calendar base. Just one final question, sustainability, I mean, part of our purpose, preserving what matters. What is a key highlight that you know, uh, you're, you're particularly proud of? One of uh, the most recent one is the LCA, so the life cycle analysis uh, we've made on our algae product portfolio. This one is fully in line with what we are trying to achieve, as you know, we are also committed in terms of sustainability uh, to the science-based target where we took a very strong commitment to reduce our CO2 emission by 33% by 2030. Uh, but also this uh, algae product do help us, you know, to fight against the loss of biodiversity. And this is a very important cause where Corbion can play also a big, a big role. So any, any final thoughts looking ahead? Looking ahead, I just, uh, again, want to reiterate my big thank you to the entire team because we've landed, I mean, so far, you know, a very strong set of results in terms of top line. There are some concerns to maintain our margin profitability level, and we know that 2022 will be a challenging year. But all in all, I don't want to lose sight of all the work being done by the team across the globe in the middle of the pandemic because this is not yet over mm -hmm. and with all the challenges that are coming from the outside world. So a big thank you to the Corbion people because you know these results you know, are simply outstanding. Thanks Olivier and thank you so much for taking a couple of minutes uh, to be with us and, uh, and hear about Corbion. Thank you.